is Debbie Kobayashi, and I'm sitting here by my painting of a few years back. And um, what I really want to say is that we're so happy to be able to present our artwork here at a public space so people who don't normally go to um, participate in other galleries can be inspired by our work. And I'm here from Articipate representing um, a collection of great teachers. And I hope that you'll come and see all their work and that you'll be inspired to become an artist yourself. Hello, I'm Catherine Palms and I'm a painter. I love to work with water media, both watercolor and acrylic. A spiritual relationship with nature is what I like to explore in my work and what I hope to share with others. Um, this most recent series of mine began with a phrase that I found in a book. The phrase was gateless gate and it's about a Zen concept. And um, that led me to explore a series of paintings that were about gates and nature in general, another gate, and even windows. And so I hope that people will enjoy exploring the gateless gate through these images. I am fortunate to teach at Articipate here in Berkeley, and I teach watercolor, and I really enjoy sharing the relaxation of the flow of the paint. Uh, with my students. Hi, I'm Terry Ford Holcomb, and I'm delighted to be part of the Berkeley Public Library exhibit in collaboration with Vitrine's Gallery and as well as Articipate Gallery and Studio. Uh, in the past, I have worked and at Articipate doing uh, drawing classes and collage. My own personal work is reflected in some oil paintings. I love to think about, I take a lot of pictures and then I decide where to go from there uh, with atmosphere, contrast, and light. 
for instance, the river at rest, um, took the picture. I loved the light from the late afternoon into, um, yeah, late afternoon into the evening. Just love the mood of that. As well as the more immediacy of the Oak Creek Falls. Um, on location in Colorado, again, that was something that was like, I didn't want to get too detailed. I left the photograph behind and decided to work on what was happening with the movement of the falls. And then um, some smaller works. This is, uh, I, w I like to work a lot in still life. And sometimes it's just everyday objects. This is a um, door stopper, an iron door stopper that I have. And so it's like, all of a sudden I'm just doing my work, my daily process, and what emerges is Ursa the bear in her environment, yes. um, just exploring her world. I just really love the mystery around this. And I actually sort of, a little bit of whimsy, put some stars in there, add some mystery. Uh, let's see, uh, another sense of places and people and time. This is called Remote Worker, and that really reflects the last couple of years of COVID. This is someone I know and love who was getting ready to go on a hike as well as taking the call at the same time, remotely working. I just loved the sense of that. So I snapped her picture and there we go. Started working on this. This is certainly a little more impressionistic. Um, sense of place, sorry about this. This is a little bit wonky here. I love to go down to Detroit and the riverfront. And this is an actual place, Moe's. Big Moe's Bait. Um, what struck me was, you know, it's just a plain building, but the light was just like, oh, I gotta get this. This was really uh, something that attracted me also. And this final piece is a little bit of an outlier. I found this piece of plywood that had been spray painted and some bolts and this and that. And um, in daily practice, I just like to think in terms of, well, I don't have any ideas today, so what's gonna happen? And um, the image of the horse and the dark horse came up and I just went with it. The real sense of play um, and um, I really enjoy that. So I invite you to come and support your local library as well as your local galleries such as Vitrine and Artisanate Galleries. Thanks. Hi, my name is Liz Franklin. I'm an artist that teaches at Artisipate. I teach portrait and urban landscape and still life. And I'm happy to be part of this show with other instructors from Anticipate. I have a few pieces 
that I like to talk about. Uh, this first one was actually done in our urban landscape painting class. So it's oil and it is of a local scene. It's the Claremont Dry Cleaners that has since closed. And one of the themes prevalent in my work are vintage um, places, pop culture, um, things like that. And so I was driving down Woodward and noticed that this had now closed and it really kind of broke my heart. So I stopped and took a photo and decided that it would be a really wonderful example of something to paint during our urban landscape class. And I wanted to capture the feel of that, you know, 1930s era neon and the sign and just, it was a rainy day and there was a puddle and, you know, it's just kind of not necessarily the most beautiful thing, but to me it was really beautiful. So that's what I try to, to find in my work. Um, this is another example. Again, if, I guess of an urban landscape, this is our dog Buddy. And uh, he, he likes, this is um, our house in Detroit. Uh, he likes to sit on the stoop, almost like a gargoyle. And it was a beautiful August evening. Everything was just so lush and um, green and Buddy was just kind of sitting there so proud and I thought, I really, that's just a good painting. You know, it just, it, sometimes things just hit you at that time and, and you decide this is what I want to paint. But again, this is an oil um, on uh, canvas paper actually, which I mounted to a board. Um, so these are kind of our two landscape type things and we move on into um, this scene which I wanted to include. I thought it was nice in the library setting. It's from the movie Pillow Talk with Doris Day and Rock Hudson and Thelma Ritter. And this is Doris and Thelma and she has the most amazing apartment. The sets in Pillow Talk are one of my favorites and I do love to um, paint from pop culture and things that are familiar. I think that growing up, classic movies and certain TV shows were such a big part of my life and things change, but these things never change for me. So I remember watching these from when I was very young um, up until now and they're familiar and they're comforting and they're beautiful and they evoke that time period that um, I am a painter, I appreciate traditional painting techniques. John Singer Sargent is my painting hero Edward Hopper, Fairfield Porter. So I like to paint very seriously in that tradition, but at the same time, bringing some of these other more pop culture themes into that together. Um, and I look at them as sort of our modern day myth myth mythology. You know, they're stories that we tell over and over because we watch them on TV and we've grown up with them and it really connects people. And I love this movie. It's one of my favorite sets. So I've had to paint it. Um, and I like that they're sort of just turning away. Thelma Ritter's, you know, kind of walking out. So even if you don't know the movie, um, it's this interior. And I like the way the light is kind of playing across here. So it was sort of fun to, you know, mix my color charts and really think about pinks and what different pinks do. and you know, on top of just loving the movie so much.
this is uh, one of my favorite pieces that I've done. Uh, it was just in another show at the Gross Point War Memorial called My Favorite, uh, where artists were asked to select a piece that was done uh, years ago that is a favorite. And this one is most definitely that for me, larger scale. Um, it was sort of the beginning for me of where I feel my technical ability met my personal vision where I found a vintage interior inspired by classic movies and this is uh, actually my daughter Vivian that I placed in this setting um, kind of again just bringing that love of these interiors with my own family and I, I love this piece so much. I'm happy to have it here at the library, especially. I remember bringing my daughter here to the library many times and story time with Miss Wendy. And she has a great love of reading. So she's sort of playing with a doll or maybe have a, has a book in the room. So I'm very honored that this is here you know, over this beautiful fireplace at the Berkeley Library. <laughs> is uh, acrylic on canvas, and I think it's a 44 by 44 inches, but um, <clears throat> I paint in all different um, scales. So uh, sometimes it's nice to paint really large and other times, I, you know, just painting things that are postcard size, but um, it just depends on, you know, the mood and the day and the space, and, and sometimes something needs to feel a little bit larger, you know, to you know express that. So I thought that um, this, Vast, this big room kind of needed to be um, this scale.
and have enjoyed them. Uh, I just want to invite you to always participate in art, whether you're a, an audience or whether you want to come to participate um, and take some classes or workshops. Also, if you have an idea for a party and you want the entertainment to be art, art can be a very bonding experience. So come on out, participate, participate, and we hope to see you soon.